Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how the new 4.4.2 uh, KitKat firmware looks like on the Vidu M10 tablet. Here we have the Vidu M10. So the first thing is I'm going to turn it on here. And uh, as we see, we still have the normal uh, widgets here on the on the front. But uh, in KitKat firmware, you have to enable this in the settings. Default, this setting is not enabled, so you will not have the possibility to add widgets here. So to enable uh, the lock screen, you go to settings, uh, and you go to security, and here you can activate widgets on the uh, lock screen. On the lock screen you also can swipe up here and uh, that will give you Google Now. So uh, when we take a look on the main screen here, everything looks like uh, normal. Uh, one of the things maybe is that uh, the buttons, soft buttons here, they don't have the black bar anymore here but uh, things look as normal here and here and uh, the app drawer now is just the apps there are no widgets um, uh, in this uh, anymore so uh, how do you add widgets hold down your finger here and then you have the option here to add widgets and you can change the background and the settings so you can switch here around the different uh, home screens and uh, if you want to add a widget you go here for example and take the clock and then you swipe to another new home screen here for example So you can use this to jump around on the screen and uh, you can use it also normally. Uh, if you take a look here in the settings, um, take a look here and then we take a look here. You can see it's the uh, Android version 4.4.2 and uh, the model number is Vidu M10. All the other things here are pretty normal. One of the new things with the, the KitKat firmware is that if you go to developer options, um, you can go down to something here. You can uh, choose using Dalvik or you can use the art. If you, some people say when you're using the art, it's faster and more like on the iPhone, uh, the app starts up very quick but um, the, there are some apps that don't like uh, the art method so I, I'm still using the normal Dalvik so until Google uh, have finished development of using art I'm going to use Dalvik still because uh, not all apps will work if you switch to art so uh, if you go to the settings and uh, take a look on the firmware version we can try to see if uh, an uh, animation comes when we uh, click a lot of times yeah here we have a rotating k for the kitkat firmware and here the proof that we are running android kitkat 4.4.2 and yes you can also click on it and uh, it shows that this one's in full screen mode also you have to swipe down to end it and uh, here you have all kind of funny android logos and symbols it doesn't give much meaning but <laughs> you can tap around on these and play and they will fly around that's a pretty f funny feature Yeah, and that's enough, I think. 
So check this out. I'm going here in the settings and uh, here you can see I have uh, the start home screen and uh, here I actually can choose two different launchers, launcher 3 and Google, Google launcher. If I choose the Google one, click the home, one second. Then I'm here on the, on the home screen, and here, when I slide to the to the side, I will get Google Now. You also have in top the OK Google feature. OK Google So as you can see it works So I'm going to switch back again to launcher 3 and there you have it but now I don't have the Google now to the left OK Google Find a car And as you can see, it uh, activates uh, the Google Voice when I say, OK, Google, find a house. Another nice thing is that uh, with this firmware, custom firmware, you have more space for your apps. Go to storage. And here in the storage you can see that I have 3.9 gig available and uh, I already almost used 1 gig. Normally um, it only has 1 gig uh, storage for apps but here I have almost 4 gig. So this is um, a feature of the custom custom ROM. Of course, uh, that also means that uh, that the NAND flash is only on nearly 10 gigabyte. Normally, this is around 12 gigabyte. And still, I have my SD card with 8 gigabyte, and you can connect a USB uh, disk also if you want. Here we have the Asphalt 8 racing game and uh, when I start it um, I will get a message that uh, you can swipe down to end the full screen and that's a KitKat feature. And let's say OK here. And the game is loading and here I choose English and uh, as you can see the soft buttons in the bottom is uh, not visible and um, when we click next here and click uh, OK OK here you see the soft buttons appear but uh, they disappear again so let's choose a car here a quick solo race no and here I have to select the car and start the race so uh, while we are waiting for the game to load uh, I just want to tell that the game is uh, actually pretty good and uh, it runs uh, also smooth and uh, without any problems on this tablet so here we see the intro and here we are racing I'm sorry that <laughs> I'm uh, so crappy to control this because I'm only uh, controlling it with one hand in this video
So when we want to end the game, I just have to swipe down, and uh, there, then the soft buttons appear. Again, sw swipe down, and uh, the top notification bar is also visible when I do this. So uh, when I want to end the game, just have to swipe down and then press the home button, and I'm back. Here we have the music app and uh, if we take a look on the lock screen when the music app is uh, enabled you can see the album art is uh, in full screen on the lock screen so if I turn it around you can see we have the controls to the player and uh, we can unlock the screen here and uh, the music player is also in the top notification bar another nice uh, thing i want to show you is the google news reader if we take a look here you can uh, read news and so on Go to the start screen, and uh, I have my my CD net Gizmondo C net and in gadget Android community and uh, so on. And uh, here you can nicely read all the the tech news and news from the world. It's really nice. So with uh, this firmware, I found out that uh, my tablet is still uh, pretty uh, fast and uh, I haven't had any issues really. So I can recommend to update to KitKat firmware. Uh, it's easy and uh, it's fast and uh, my tablet is only uh, faster with KitKat. A custom rooted KitKat firmware for the Vidu M10, uh, and I found it on uh, arctablet.com. Uh, of course, I will post the, the link in the video description. You just download this, and uh, then you open up the tool. You have to use the Workchip Batch Tool version 1.7 to flash the firmware and remember to use the restore button so you have to download this file and uh, after you have downloaded this you have to unzip the file inside the zip you will find an image that file you have to open up here in the work batch tool 1.7 here in the firmware path you will choose the image and uh, you then connect your tablet with the USB cable and uh, it should be found um, and this button here is green or pink if it's pink you can try to click on the switch button here and then it should turn green uh, sometimes it's green already when you plug in the, the USB cable so uh, when this is green, you are connected correctly with the tablet. So when you have loaded the, the firmware up here and the button is green, you just press the restore button here. The restore means that you are, you are wiping all on the tablet and installing the new firmware. So after that, the um, here in this window it will display some, some information and uh, hopefully, hopefully it will say successfully um, and it, it will uh, clear the internals uh, 
the storage and uh, the partitions uh, will be uh, changed. So when uh, a green line is displayed in this window, uh, it should be safe to um, remove the USB cable and uh, your tablet should remove automatically and then you can exit this tool here. After you have uh, installed the, the firmware and booted and checked everything is ok, you can go and uh, install the Clockwork Mod Recovery and uh, it can be done with, with the Arc Tools. It's a APK app you just install on the tablet and uh, you install the um, or you download the Clockwork Mod uh, inside this app and then you install it. Uh, everything is done from the tablet in the tablet and uh, the whole process takes about one minute so this is very easy so how do you use the Arc tools you just uh, download the Arc tools I will pro provide the link in my video description and after you install the APK file you will have Arc tools like this and then you come in here and here you will uh, see different things you can download and you have to choose the rock generic CWM recovery so this one you select and download you hit the download button here and after you have downloaded you press the install uh, button and after a few seconds it will have installed the custom uh, recovery and to enter the clockwork uh, mod recovery you press the reboot button here and you can reboot to recovery remember um, the device has to be rooted to use this program so why should you upgrade to a custom firmware and not the official uh, KitKat first the internal storage in the official firmware is only on one gigabyte in this custom ROM firmware they have changed it so you have four gig available just for apps uh, the white right here increased space for applications so the data partition is set to four gigabyte that also means that you only have 10 gigabyte available for on the NAND flash for games but uh, that should still be enough this firmware also comes with two launchers the stock launcher and the google experience um, launcher uh, in the settings you can choose what launcher you want to choose and you can even switch around if, if you want later another reason to flash this uh, firmware is that it's pre-rooted so you don't have to think about rooting the device so I can only recommend this firmware 